Hey, I want to make a video here today to talk about a couple of things. Uh, one is to say, I don't hate Glocks. I posted this picture of the Glock 19X that I bought recently on Instagram. A lot of people are like, I thought you hated Glocks and you're so full of shit, you say something negative about them and then you buy one, blah, blah, blah. I don't hate Glocks. I do hate Glock tards. Uh, Maisie, don't jump on that. But, uh, getting a little distracted here. I don't hate Glocks, I hate Glock tards, like I said. Because the whole idea that they're like, the Glocks are the most best gun ever made and it's nothing else ever compares, that's garbage. There are lots of guns that compare to a Glock. There's guns that are even better than a Glock. Glock just does one thing very well, and that is it uh, blends cheap manufacturing polymer guns with a reliable product. And they're the first ones to really be able to do that, and they reaped the benefits of it. And they were had some good marketing, etc. also. They are not in any way innovative. Now, that's one of the things a lot of people have been talking about uh, recently, saying, oh, the Gen 5s are so innovative. There's nothing innovative about this gun. Glock hasn't been innovative since they designed their gun. If you take one of their first guns and compare it to this gun, there's a few minor changes to keep it up with the times. But as far as ever being innovative in any way, Glocks are not innovative. So that's one thing I'm getting kind of tired of people saying about the new Gen 5s is so innovative or the Glock 19 is so innovative. It just isn't. Uh, it's a good gun. And here's the thing though, when you're looking for a self-defense gun, do you really look for something that's innovative or are you looking for something that is proven and competent? And Glocks are proven and competent. There's other guns out there that are just as good or if not better in some ways, but the Glock is still a good gun. So it doesn't matter to me if it's innovative, as long as it's still practical and it's still a very practical gun. Uh, I own a couple of them. I got another one sitting right here, as a matter of fact. I mean, here's another Glock right here that I got. So, it's not that I just own one of them. I own a few. And Maisie is right in front of my camera right now, getting ready to look up at the lens. So, I hope she doesn't do that during this video. But I just want to clear that up. Two things. I don't hate Glocks. I just like making Glock tards cry. Uh, it's funny to think of them sitting there in their mother's basement eating Cheetos with, you know, little tears running down their cheek and staining their... Uh, anime t-shirt it's always a black anime t-shirt i don't know why but that part's fun but as far as the gun itself it may be a little old it might be a little antiquated but it's still competent and like i said when you're looking for a self-defense gun a competent gun is what you're looking for yeah you go on out of there so i just wanted to, to say that i mean i know there's no reason to really say that because who cares what people think but it just seems like a lot of people think I dislike the glock platform i don't i still think it is one of the best meldings of like I said, cheap uh, manufacturing, inexpensive manufacturing, we should say, with a reliable product. So anyone who wants to carry a Glock out there, go right ahead. I think they're one of the best carry options you can have. But as far as them being perfect, they're not perfect. As far as them being innovative, they're the farthest thing from innovative. I wouldn't say that they're even... I don't know. Uh, they're not even up with the times, I wouldn't say, in a lot of ways. And they're definitely not innovative. But I would say that they are reliable. And not, not just in they always shoot, but in you know what you're getting, you know how it works, and it's easy to take care of, you know, etc. So it's reliable as far as usage, and it's reliable as far as knowing what you're getting. And when you're looking for a self-defense gun, when you're looking for a gun that you're just going to use to defend your life in a bad situation, isn't that all you're looking for? I mean, you can have other guns that are better at the range or uh, better at hunting or better for home defense or whatever, but when it comes to just a gun you can put on your hip that you know is going to work and it's simple to use, the Glock's pretty much got everything you would need in a carry gun.